Excusez-moi. Interesting hotel room. It's a place for backpackers, and yet it seems to have some sort of a royal bed. But no table, no fridge, no bathroom. I, I and a, it has a maid. What? I'm pretty sure hostels don't actually look like this. Aren't they usually bare bones and kind of communal and really small? Petals of Twilight by Charles Francois Guillaume. And it is told that he made his way through their streets at night, crawling through their many windows and crouching in their gardens, moving through the sewers beneath their cobbled roads and slipped slipping over their railings. Watched by their cats and the roosting pigeons of their city, yet wary of their slumbering dogs, he went. They would not see him, nor wake as he drew near, but would only shudder, softly calling out the names of their gods in sleep. Restless, they tossed as he passed under the window like an errant lover fleeing dawn. And by morning, light, he was gone, away from that place, and moved on, to another world. Having the faintest clue what any of that was about. I'm gonna pull a Joffrey. Observe your orders. Whoa. Breaking arbitrary laws of current government. Do not miss your chance to be one of us and create the new world order. Yeah, no thanks, Icarus. You creepy fucking eyeball thing. I was at last night and managed to get some stupid American to buy me a drink, then peeked his code when he wasn't looking. Do me a favor, pull some cash from his account and get your petite ami to pick me up some zyme. It is fabulous, the new thing from New York. Yay, drugs! Breaking the arbitrary. What causes me to break the what arbitrary the laws of our government? I wouldn't say protecting people's property from being Feel stolen and whatnot is arbitrary. Alright, let's explore the rest of this place. Drugs. I wonder what else might be in here. I kind of want to use an explosive to open it. Eh, I'll use my lockpicks. Alright, it's supposed to be booby trapped. Holy hell, that's a lot of drugs. Can I destroy the drugs? Nope. I know. I know what I'll do. I don't see any booby traps at all.
bot kills three in accidental shooting. Uh, Dominique Vit... I can't pronounce his names. We're heading home from a late night in the town when they were gunned down in the street by a military bot that mistakenly identified them as terrorists. Since the institution of martial law in Paris, bots have regularly patrolled those areas. With a high level of criminal activity, armed with a visual database profiling thousands of wanted terrorists, the I'm blind, I can't see. I still need to find that... the guard post that has something to do with their son. People over there. Where did that dog bark come from? Clear the streets. New travel restrictions. Consult the papers. There we go. I've done my duty as a citizen. I've turned in illegal drugs to a police officer. Whether he chooses to take them himself or dispose of them or what have Sir, you is what not is my your problem. Business tonight? Yeah, that's got to be the guard post. All right. It's time to sneak in. Oh god, that thing's going to see me. American. You not go agent. Agent Herman stopped by. He said we should shoot on sight. I better find something really good on this computer. I hope he can't see me from here. Oh god, oh god, it might be able to see me. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm okay. Going back? Yeah, it's going back. Right, I'm gonna stay right here. And there we go. I should be safe for a while. Street Station 17. Werewolf. Ooh, yes. Deactiv deactivate it. That's it. What? It's not really worth it. Oh, that's where you originally come up, I think. Yeah, the one that you don't require to... You don't need to lockpick it? Yeah, that's it. I might have explored almost everything, actually.
Yeah, I think that's everywhere. I think it's time to go. Ready? Let's go. You trust the guy in the helicopter? That's Jock. Don't worry, he hasn't let me down yet. Come on. I did actually get everything right. Make contact. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's hit it. Oh shit! Gunther. Gunther. A little bit too late, buddy. I had not wanted to see this place again. Why not? I was afraid it would be like this. The same. Not a stone out of place. You would rather that Majestic 12 had burned it down? I would rather... No, let's go. Only in novels do places crumble to dust for no reason when their spirit is lost. Your mother? Lead the way. I no longer have a key. We must find my mother's secret computer room, where she did all her work. A place she kept hidden, even from me. This is actually a really interesting mission. So, there shouldn't be anybody inside, right? No guards or anything like that? Almost seems like I'm about to enter a haunted mansion. It's weird. Let's take a look inside the windows, make sure there is nobody inside. Why is there a box on a boiler plate? It's gotta be a fire hazard. Crazy. I lost my virginity out here. I believe Mom was out conspiring to get me into La Sorbonne at the time. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. That's not funny. It wasn't a joke. Okay, hold on. So that gets me inside the house, but what the hell is this? Some insane castle maze? What's the point of this? I don't get it. Why would somebody want to build this in their backyard? I'm guessing this is probably where the secret computer lab or whatever is. Just need to get the key. Nice. Mom hated this maze. Well, I hate it too. It's stupid. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the music in this game is so good. Like right now, it seems like there's a remix of an older track that's playing. It's so good. Freaking awesome. I'm pulling up the floor plan. An old summer home built during the Third Republic. It's been vacant since Miss Duclair's assassination. Hopefully these elegant rooms contain some clues about the Duclair family's involvement with the Illuminati. Yeah, this is a really nice change of pace. A mission where you don't really have to worry about hiding. At least to begin with, it might change later on. But it's super cool. Huh? 
The maid did all of the cooking, but Mom always picked out the wine. She was the only one with a key to the cellar. Funny, you know when I was a little girl, I used to play in the dumb waiter that goes up to Mom's room. Amazing, I didn't break my neck. Exclusive Bob Page interview. And now France? Yes, France. France and Europe have prospered for thousands of years. It would be foolish to ignore the economic and cultural opportunities that exist here. This country has a huge reserve of talent in all sectors of the workforce, and Page Industries is looking forward to recruiting the best and the brightest. But what about the turmoil that seems to be afflicting much of the continent? The rise of radical splinter groups such as Shoes and Silhouette? Intimidation through violence is the last resort of the weak. These groups are composed of nothing but frustrated, gullible individuals. We have a very effective security organization that will be working with both local and national authorities to minimize whatever potential for actual harm they present. So, you see yourself working closely with the government. Very closely. Very closely. Indeed. FEMA. FEMA closely. My mom had that couch flown in from Portugal. Exactly the same as what she could have bought at La Samaritaine, except that it was once graced by the bottoms of a royal family. This couch? There you go. I don't know if this will help, but I used to use that computer whenever I was at home. The last time was just before my mother was killed. The login is Nicolette. The password is Chad. From Chad, Silhouette Business. Nicolette, your aid in, security, in securing support for Silhouette has been invaluable. You've done much to help sustain the cause of freedom in the face of ever more repression by our own government. However, I'm afraid that I must ask for your help yet again. The police have begun to raid the catacombs, and if we are to put up an effective resistance, then we must locate additional resources by whatever means necessary. I know your mother and her friends wish to remain anonymous, but any funds or material that they can contribute will be of enormous help. And even if they cannot, their continued goodwill is still of great importance to us all. Thank you, and I hope to see you again soon. Chad. From Beth Duclair. Let's see. Replying to... They need help or they'll be slaughtered by the porks who strut about the streets like they own them. You've helped us once before, and it has meant so much to the cause. Please, Mother. I'm asking you to help us again. You know so many who can... It just ends. Oh, you know so many who can. That's weird. Why is there no period? Anyway. I will do what I can, dear, but the situation is far more complicated than I think you may be aware of. My connections within the Hog and the United Nations indicate that the problem is not limited to France, and many parties are using the Grey Death epidemic as an excuse to exercise their control over other national governments. I have to consult with Morgan. We must be careful when we choose to allocate where we choose to allocate our resources. It is a very dangerous time for everyone, Nicolette, and your flirtation with this organization could have serious consequences. I am asking you again to be careful. I could not stand it if something happened to you. In the meanwhile, I will do what I can. Beth. Shouldn't I be mentioning to the people around me that I'm being talked to by some sort of demonic eye thing? It's a little bit worrisome.
Come on, JC. You've accomplished greater things than getting on a chair. Why is it jumping with me? That's not how chairs are supposed to work. Whatever, I'll just grab it like this. Beth's bedroom key. Come on, HDR, make it bright again. Nope. Okay, so I can just get upstairs with a dumb waiter. No reason to waste lockpicks on that or explosives. Just want to make sure I'm getting every single place. Nice and thorough. Nicolette's bedroom key. What are you looking for? I wonder why Icarus cares so much about what I'm doing here, of all things. Almost like I I'm bothering think my it. My mother kept a room key behind a little vase up here. There we go. My mom's room. And look, her favorite painting. I can't believe the assassins didn't take it. Oh, the hours she would spend just sitting at that table and staring up at her priceless treasure. What a surprise. Ooh, basement key, all right. Reload modification. What shall I put you on? Let's go the trank gun. This thing holds a lot of ammo, so I don't think it needs it. Dear Nicolette, at some point it may become necessary for you to access my private records, and perhaps to... to do what you think best, given the circumstances of my absence. You must understand how much I care for you, and if I've not always done what might be considered right, I've always done what I thought best for you and the others I've cared about. It is a cold heart that does not have some regrets. And this is all I can leave to you. Everything else I have already given. I love you, my daughter, and I trust you will make me proud. I'm only sorry that I am not here to see it. Beth. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 27 It was late when he got back. Everything black and quiet. Jacob killed the lights, but didn't take the key out of the ignition. He reached into his pocket and took out a little box with an L LCD display, thumbed a button, and the radio transceiver captured the last few hours worth of motion sensor logs from the building. He'd done some favors for friends in the shop, or whatever it was they were calling it this week, and they'd installed it to spec for him. As he walked to the door, he was still arranging all the pieces in his head. Sure way to get his ass taken down, but he couldn't help it. Something was missing. It didn't fit. Allie hunched over in the bathroom, that needle dangling from between her toes. Katsuya shifting a half million yen before the currency market closed. The radio station Samuel had turned him onto, the one with the little girl repeating all those numbers in sequence. And somewhere in the middle. Jacob stopped, looked up at the night sky. He had been assuming that there were two sides to this game, and both were playing to win. But what if... What if there was someone else, and they wanted to see both sides lose? What if there was someone else, and they wanted to see both sides lose? Perhaps Icarus? 
Maybe. Alright, so where's the other bedroom? Here it is. <laughs> it's an ancient candy bar. My little prison for 18 years. Whoa. <laughs> I was trying to pick up the skull so I could throw it. Okay. What the hell? Why do you have drugs behind here? Jesus. I think I'll dump one of these hazmat. Actually, let's dump a bunch of stuff. I don't I need... wanted to be in the city, but I guess mom thought it was easier to keep her activities secret in the country. Should probably put these in a line. Makes a bit more sense. Yeah, there we go. All my suits. Richard III by William Shakespeare. Lord, Lord, I me wanted to be in the city, but I guess Mom thought it was easier to keep her activities secret in the country. Thank God you interrupted me. I might have had to actually read that. What pain it was to drown. Gotta pull a Joffrey times two. Nice. I'd say maybe ten lumens are are emitted by this lamp. Well, okay, let's be fair to the lamp. It's probably more like 10.5. I think it's time to go down. Down? in the kitchen, right? Mom and Everett used to sit out here sipping martinis and plotting to take over the world. That's how we all got in this mess. the hell? Where in the hell? Here we go. I just missed it. Usually they're inside of, like, wooden racks, not just on the ground. Hmm. I'm getting some hunches here. I feel like there might be a secret door. I feel like maybe... There might be one. I'm not sure where it would be, though. Hmm.
Claire's acquired the property after the Nazis sent him to a camp in Germany. Strange. I'm picking up heavy duty fiber optic activity down here. What's this? A dungeon? Look at that. Yes, beautiful. Oh no. Do I have the login details? I suppose it doesn't even matter. Be quicker either way just to do this. That's not funny. Some kind of giant routing station. Not on any telecom map I've ever seen. Petabytes of transmission. God. Beth Duclair's probably used it to analyze net traffic. Oh my god. I had no idea. Ah, oh, yes, recharge, recharge, thank god. Please be one I don't have. I'd like a second useful one. Because at the moment I only have one augmentation that's really genuinely useful all the time. What are you? Aggressive defense system and spy drone. Uh, don't already have that. Yep, I've already got it. Actually, I've, yeah, all these slots are filled, so actually I can't get anything new. That's really depressing. I will never have another augmentation. I did not write that down. Nico Angel is the password. Oh. Apparently that's the only thing it does. Oh, there's also something here. From Morgan Everett. Final message. Cipher block. This will be our last communication over the net. The so-called Aquinas protocols that my old protege and MJ-12 have implemented are crude, but effective. Much like my protege. All future meetings will need to occur face-to-face -face at secure location. At a secure location. To expedite matters, I will deliver to you a tear sheet chip. It will contain 20 codes and their corresponding keys. Each code and key pair can be used once and then will be permanently erased. Each code will be tagged to one of our previously agreed upon meeting locations and times. If one of the if one or the other of us should need to get in touch, send a message using one of the codes. The contents of the message is irrelevant. Only the code used to encrypt it. I should need to point out that any attempt to to tamper with the chip once it has been installed will result in it being rendered useless. Best of luck to you and to us all. Morgan. Done. So, uh... Now what? So you found Beth's computer. We are destined to meet, perhaps. If you are truly our ally, you will help me access the MJ-12 computer network and complete the Grey Death vaccine. Find Nicolette. You will need her key in order to exit through the crypt. I will be directing you to a nearby cathedral. What is it? A transmission from Morgan Everett. He wants me to go out the back way through the crypt to a nearby cathedral. The Cathedral of the Knights Templar? He didn't say. I'm supposed to access the Majestic 12 computer network. Yes, Majestic 12 controls the place now. They kill the knights for their gold reserves. Everett must want you to sneak to that part of town through the sewers that connect to our property. I thought the Templars vanished centuries ago. 
They invented the modern banking system and were its directors, under one name or another, until Majestic 12 took over. He said you had a key. Yes, here it is. The crypt is in the maze behind the chateau. Listen to Everett. He is right to want to avenge the Templars. Man, the Templars, the... The Illuminati. There's a lot of powers at play here. Some of which are rather ancient. I feel like at some point here I'm going to encounter Gunther. Gunther. Did I just hear something? I might have made that noise myself. It's already open. Up heat signatures in the sewers. I think somebody's expecting you. Try to ignore the smell. This sewer connects to a street near the cathedral. Not too far from here. What happened to Nicolette? Did she just, like, give up? Huh. Okay. Anyway, I think it's time to spend some skill points. Yes, it is. Low tech. Should I can reset? It's either that or my dark gun. Yeah, let's go with low tech. Ever get the feeling that you are going in circles? God, I love the music, but also, how come... The light just changed right in front of my eyes, like it went from one color to a completely different one. Very strange. I guess I fell down or... I don't... whatever. You're going the right way. I primarily need you to establish an uplink from the MJ-12 network, but I also have uses for that gold. When you locate it, I will send someone to recover it. Prepare to receive a map of the cathedral. Wait, I'm going to be finding gold from the Knights Templar? This is fucking awesome! It's like I'm playing Thief again. Secondary goal, recover the gold from the Templar's Cathedral, now occupied by MJ-12. Fuck yeah! This is sweet. What the hell? Uh... I don't think that gigantic pink block is supposed to be there. Old well, main entrance, stuff, monk's quarters. I probably won't need the map. Stack of boxes it is. Don't want to waste resources. I think I need one more. Hmm. 
Never mind, I need wall four. Wait a minute. What if I went up there? Hold on. Hold on. Aww. Let's check that out. It's a dead body in there. It's got soy food, a candy bar, and some credits. Gatekeeper's key. Test out my uh, new and improved weapon skill. Looks like a false reading. Readings all over contact. I got contact. Oh, maybe it only works from the back. I know it does work. I know it can work, but maybe it only works from the back. All right, he's gonna hear me if I drop down, so I need to go through the gate. Okay, maybe it doesn't need to be from the back, but it seems like they don't have any shocked state where, you know, they're like having a seizure and they can't attack. They're either fully functional or they're down. So you gotta be pretty quick, and you're probably gonna want to hit them from the back because I think they're more vulnerable from there. It's good to know your limits, know your abilities. Tempting. Camera kind of throws a wrench in the works, though. Wait, the security computer's inside? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can I break this without setting off the alarm? No! To go down in style. Okay, so new discovery. Even if it does not have a strip of blue on it, it can still be alarmed.
there's anything worth lock picking, it would be this. Take a second to relax and read the newspaper. United States Institutes Martial Law. In a momentous speech held at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, President Meade announced the Declaration of Martial Law throughout the United States, citing a fundamental threat to the American way of life in the form of organized insidious terrorism. With major American cities already reeling under the impact of the Great Death, looting and rioting have reached disastrous levels while terrorist attacks have grown increasingly ubiquitous climaxing in the attack on UNATCO headquarters in New York last week. Local authorities have so far proven ineffectual in stemming the tide of violence, and even Washington, D.C. has been hit by an outbreak of the Grey Death. Highly placed sources have speculated that Meade himself may be infected. They say the guy's got some new kind of implants. President Meade appointed Walton Simmons, director of FEMA, to spearhead an interim council tasked with managing the government response. We will do everything, everything, that is in our power to restore the peace and security of the average American, <coughs> said Simmons. In no way will this violate the civil liberties that have made this country great. Instead, we pledge to do everything in our power to safeguard those liberties against all those who would see that all those who would see them torn apart. You fucking liar. Son of a Company Stent, remember the briefing. I'm silent like the wind. I'm thinking it might be better just to do this. Pigeon! Coo, coo, coo. If I break these, they're gonna hear. Oh well. Did anybody else Whoever's out there, give yourself up. Someone's there. I can hear you. local sites. Though overshadowed by several larger and more well-known cathedrals, the Cathedral La Pins in the 14th <laughs> remains a historical curiosity of interest to many scholars. Construction was begun in 1218. That could be a password. 1218. And completed before the end of the century, financed by the Templar Knights, an order of warrior monks as part of a similar network of churches, cathedrals, and forts, or commanderies, as they were called, throughout Britain, Europe, and the Holy Lands. Some scholars believe that the order did not disappear in 1311. That could also be a password. With its dissolution, however, and that the Templar Knights continued to operate more or less in secret, but whatever the truth, Paynes fell into disrepair until finally purchased and renovated by a group of European investors in 1918, as a corporate retreat. While closed to the public, it still remains a comforting presence at the heart of the arrondissement. Gotta wait for the slow piece of shit to continue. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe. Keep going, pal. 
past the metro station. The cathedral is to the south. Transmitting a photograph. I see. But when you tell me to keep going past it, that just makes me want to go inside of it. The metro will take you out of the way. Go back to the street. The cathedral is not much further. Travel advisories are in effect. I'm guessing this is where I need to go when I'm done. Sports. Ball. Foot. Football. Sports. Martial law. Mm -hmm. What was that? Why would anybody make such a strange little alcove thing that no one can get up to in a comfortable way? Mm. I don't even know I'd get up there. I don't see any boxes. Ooh, recharge bot. Yes, yes, yes. Aww. Does it not open? Yes. One one two five? No, one three fifty. The terrorism alert is still active. I'm noticing boxes. Maybe I can find enough to get up there, but whatever's up there is probably not worth it. Only a couple of trains are running. It's electrified. Whoops. Alright, well two boxes is definitely not you going to do it. Your own risk tonight, monsieur. To the cathedral. Wrong way. You travel at your own risk tonight, monsieur. Yes, your other clone already told me that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's two boxes. There's... I've got five boxes here. Never mind, I'm not done yet. It's gonna take a while. Only a couple of trains are running. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. This isn't even the right spot. Okay, I'm gonna work on this. I'll be right back. There we go. Actually, only took two of them on top of that couch. Rather precariously balanced, but it worked. That was better be freaking worth it. That better not be more Shakespeare. I will pull another Joffrey. Oh, it's not. Notebook of... Giuliano Giordano, whatever. This job is so boring. I do nothing but write in my notebook, fill it with my thoughts, but sometimes I must amuse myself. 
I've been stealing from the security. Like thick skulled dogs they are. Last week I took a watch, but they paid no notice. I am nothing to them, just a strange man with his notebook. I was listening to the night guard, Jobel, a disgusting creature and a creature of habit. I heard him on the phone, talking to that cow of a girlfriend, and he told her his bank account number. I almost got his pin as well, but a passing train drowned him out. I do not know the last number. I will try again when he is on shift next week. He will be surprised when all his money is gone, and they will not suspect me. Huh. Huh. The fact that it took so long to actually find this thing, so much effort, I think most people wouldn't have even noticed, makes me think there might actually be a lot of money in there. I believe I already hacked this though, didn't I? Hacked the ATM. Where even was the ATM? Well, I'll just use it on the next one. Travel advisories are in effect. Right, I want to know what's back here. It looks like nothing, so let's go this way. <laughs> cathedral? Yep, there's a cathedral. This is seriously reminding me of Thief. Big stone structure, need to gain entrance, trying to steal stuff. I love it. Sniper up there. Got something. I'm doing a scan. He's definitely going to hear this one. Aha! A trellis. You could climb onto the roof and avoid the security. Never depend upon weapons in high tech when there is a simpler solution at hand. Let's wait for it to go back. So, 
How does this help me? Not sure what this really gains me entrance to. Oh, right. I just go up here. <laughs> See, a thief on the roof. My new satellite link has both infrared and the X-ray spectrum. I see your heart beating. I see you are afraid. Huh. I'm not afraid of you, Gunther. Mister can't spell worth a damn. You don't scare me. I'd beat you at a spelling bee any day. Try me. Cathedral main door key. Ah, a good library. Worth its weight in gold. Is that a hint that if I read it, I might find the secret to the gold? Let's see. Volume 4, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. Do I have the patience to read these? I don't know. Let's try the first one. Maybe it's entertaining. Here we go. The Red Cross, a history of the Knights Templar by Richard something, Defenders of the Faith. Upon the deliverance of Jerusalem, the Holy Lands remained in a precarious state, surrounded on all sides by host hostile Mohammedan neighbors. It was then that something, a knight from somewhere, Campagni, Champagne, whatever, beyond... <laughs> oh, alright, fuck it. I can't even read half the words. I'm done. I'll go back to it if I need to. Does the book show up in my uh, notes? Nope. So I'll have to come back here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure worth his weight in gold is a hint. How many shocks do I have? Not that many. What are you reading there, buddy? Can I slip by him? Got something. I'm doing a scan. Doctrine of the Mighty. Not sure how much I care to read it. Got no. something. I'm doing a scan. Certainly not enough to take him down. A lot of books here. Must have been a glitch. I'd like to read these, but I, I I don't have time to read them. You might not see me if I just stay here. It is a commonly held precept that two are stronger than one, and that four are stronger than two, and that sixteen are by far stronger than four. With this, there can be no argument. If all of human history is but a single lesson, it is that the individual may be remembered, but the organization persists and thrives. Halt. Please give your ID. Shit. Right, I'm done reading. Nothing. I get, really get, have to get, get my out sonics of, Get out of my way. Alright, well, there's nothing down there but a bunch of books. So let's go a different way. Ah! Uh, uh. 
Request backup. Request denied. 